this is Sonya with Artsy Solutions and welcome to week 34 of Using Up Scraps. And this week I did a sewing theme. I made some non-sewn boho fabric pockets, but I didn't sew any of it. So, <laughs> so basically I just uh, fussy cut out some different shapes and used some die cuts and some gems and things like that and added a few things here and there. So to start out with, um, I have a Mademoiselle, it's like 1935, I think that's what year it is, and that's where I got some of these images from. And I just cut them out, fussy cut them out, and added them to some black cardstock to make them thicker so that um, they would be pretty sturdy when I added it. But all I did was just glue on my fabrics, and I just added some, um, some tags and things. And all I did was just kind of keep some of my receipt, not receipts, but my tags from actual purchase clothing. And um, and I'm also using uh, the kit from, it's a junk journal kit from Redeemable Junk um, on Etsy. And this is the kit from that one. It's a sewing kit. And this is part of it. And then I just took that journal card that and just added some stuff from the magazine, took some sewing paper or measuring paper, whatever that stuff's called, and added this one here and some coffee dad paper and made this pocket. And um, here's just some scrap paper and then here's another element from the magazine that I turned into ephemera. So this has a double pocket, one here and then one right here. So let me uh, put these back in here in the front. Okay, and then hold on. then I have this guest check that I made, and this is also from the junk from Redeemable Junk that kit. And I just fussy cut it out because it was on a journal card, but I just I love that image. So I fussy cut it out and added it to this coffee dot guest check along with some cut out words and stuff from the magazine. And I just left it blank on the back for journaling. And then you flip it over, and this is just some scrap paper from Graphic 45. All of these are are scrap papers the actual scrapbook paper that's used on all of these are just scraps. And so here's another one of those uh, journal cards that come from Redeemable Junk. And then I added this die cut right here and then add the word energy. And the word energy comes from it's from Pleasant Creations and it's called Wordplay. And um, I've had that for a while. So yeah, that's the first one. So I'm just going to put this back in here. Okay, and then here's the second one. And like I said, I just added some, I glued on some fabric. This burgundy right here, it was just a, uh, what do you call it? It's, a, it's like a, a fabric coaster. And I just basically cut it in half. And um, and when I did, it left a pocket because it was already thick. So I just left it as is. And so I just added this. Like I said, I just kept some tags that came from actual clothing. And I just used this fussy cutout safety pin. This is also from Redeemable Junk. And then these are just dies from the Tim Holtz uh, dress form die. And then these come out. And this is another, uh, it's like a library card, but with like a spindle and a sewing style library card. And it's also from Redeemable Junk. And then I just added another one of those words from, uh, what's her name? <laughs> I forgot her name already. So I just added another word. And then this right here is from one of, my, one of my dollar bin kits, a float, I think that's what that's from. And I just added that on there. And this is from Redeemable Junk. 
and I just fussy cut it out. It was also part of a collage, not a collage, but um, a journal card. And I just folded this flap over and stapled this and created this little coffee dyed booklet. So that's that. And then just added a paper, I mean, yeah, a paper clip to it. So I'm just going to put that back in there. Add this in here. That's that one. And then on this one, this is the other half that came from this coaster. And I just punched up one of these little old shapes and then added the word laugh. And then here are some more tags that came from actual clothing that I just decided to keep. And then I fussy cut out this little shoe and added some bling. And uh, here's also another little pocket right here. And then the word bug school. This came from a magazine, that same Mademoiselle magazine. And I left these some of these flat because I wasn't sure if I was going to stick them into a journal. I probably will stick them into this one won't this will be like an insert but these will probably definitely get added into a journal like glued onto a journal or something and then we have this one this final one and basically there's a little pocket here and I have this little Tim Holtz dress form and I just uh, did some I didn't stamp I just took the distress the ink and went over it around the edges and stuff. I added a piece of scrap paper and glued that on there. And I just added some fabric right here. Then added this little die cut um, shape right here. Flourish. And then there's a little pocket right here. And I just, like I said, this just came out of a little package or whatever. And I just needed something short to fit in this little short pocket. And then we've got, there's a pocket back here this okay this was added to some fabric and basically all I did was just um, folded it over and glued it I glued this to the back of this and then when I did that it created a pocket here and then a pocket right here so and then here's some more journal spots from redeemable junk and then we have this this is an actual newsletter News notes of alumni and former students. Um, let's see. 1888, 1890, 1895. Oh, this is like really old. I'd gotten a book off of eBay and it used to be, a, I guess, some person's scrapbook and they have all sorts of ephemera in there. And so some of the stuff I'll probably like scan and keep and keep originals and some I'm like get rid of, I don't know, not get rid of, but like either gift them away or I may even sell some, I don't know, we'll see. But um, yeah, so let me show you how I made all these. So I'm going to be making some really easy fabric pockets and they're all from scrap fabrics that I've had from previous projects. So all I'm going to do, and it's going to be really quick, is I'm just going to take some of my papers, scrap papers and stuff that I had left over from other projects and I'm just going to make some I'm just going to cut some of them up and I'm just going to add some fabric to them and there's no specific size that I'm making they're just going to be fabric pockets so I'm just taking some leftover papers, you know, that I'd already cut. And we're going to add some stuff to it. And these can be added to your journals or whatever. You know. Some are going to be tall and some of them are going to be shorter.
and I'm going to um, cut holes in some of them so we'll know that these are pockets. Let me try to get it centered. And then it, I like to just go ahead and make some up. That way, whenever I do have a project that I'm working on, I can just go ahead and put it on in there. You know. Let me see something. I need to make sure that the width is going to fit into a journal. I'm just using this as a guide to know what size to make some of these. And some of them I'm going to double up the paper to make it thicker so that when I do put it in the journal it'll um, it'll fit pretty nicely and it won't like buckle or anything. All right, so let's just start with these first. These are going to be like paper slash slash fabric pockets. So I'm just simply folding these in half and gluing the sides together. Let me, I should have, I can still do it. I should have put an opening right here. All right, and let's just try gluing this back again. That's the really good thing about wet glue. <laughs> I love wet glue because it has a lot of give and mercy and you can fix your errors. So we've got that one, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to punch a hole in this one. You can distress yours also if you like, but I'm not even going to worry about it. Not right now anyway. And I love these no sew pockets because it's, I love sewn things. I really, really, really do love sewn and stitched up stuff, but me making it isn't always, doesn't always work for me. <laughs> okay, so I used some art glitter glue on these, but you can use Fabri-Tac. So, which, and art glitter glue works just as well as Fabri-Tac when you're gluing uh, fabric and stuff together. So let me wipe up my glue. And I have this pretty, it's, is it sorry silk? I, it's kind of silky. I love the pattern and the colors that are on here. So I'm just going to cut some of it off. I've had this, oh my goodness, I don't know how long. I've gotten this like a bundle of scrap fabrics off eBay a few years ago. And it just kind of sat along with a lot of my other stuff that I really need to use. I'm, I'm really, I've got to start using a lot of my stuff because it's just sitting there collecting dust because my ideas sometimes don't want to flow right. So what I'm going to do is, I don't want to waste any fabric, but at the same time I want to make sure that this is on here really well because I'm going to definitely probably glue this to something. So I'm going to add, I'm going to take my Fabri-Tac and I'm going to add like a bead of glue on the sides, on the bottom. And on the other side. And I'm going to try to line this up evenly in the, in the center. Stretched out. And I'm just kind of holding it in place as it dries. Okay, 
and then I'm just going to flip it over. I'm going to add a bead of glue to this end here, and then a bead of glue to this end here. And you don't need a whole lot with this fabric tag because it sticks pretty well, especially the paper. Now what I'm going to do, this is going to be like a double pocket or like it's going to be more than just a double pocket because this itself is a pocket and then this is a pocket and then I'm going to make a pocket covering this right here up. So I might use paper to cover that part and I think I'm going to use, let's see. Fold this over. I hate measuring, <laughs> and this is the easiest way to do it. That's when you just fold it over, and then boom, there you go. You ain't gotta break out all your daggum tools that you're gonna have to put back up. Just set going straight across, and you can use your uh, paper trimmer if you like, or you can just grab some scissors and be done with it. And that's what I'm doing. I'm going to be done with it. So I'm just going to do that. I don't know. I think I will distress these because it's driving me nuts. I think I'm addicted to everything being distressed. It just, to me, it just makes things show better. Okay, so now I'm going to add a piece of this blue and I'm going to turn this, let me see, I'm just going to cut it down and it's going to be somewhat of a thin pocket, that's one here. And so I'm just going to fold this down like so. Let me add some fabric tack to it. That way it'll have a smooth uh, finish or it won't be all tattered up. This 
not good. And I'm going to fold this in. Let me just cut it down a little bit. I'm going to do this the same way I would do like paper and then trim down the corners at like an angle. I'm going to trim that a little bit more. And then I'm just going to fold these over and glue them. let that finish drying and we're just going to trim this leftover little piece of fabric we're going to set this on here but before I do that I think I'm going to add a little piece of this green solid paper to make it pop a little bit more. Yeah, I'm going to glue it to the green paper. And I'm also going to make the green paper a pocket. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue it on first. Oops. And we're just going to put this on top of it. And you can also use some Aileen's glue, uh, fabric glue. That'll work too. You don't have to use uh, Fabri-Tac or uh, uh, art glitter glue. Aileen's makes some good fabric glue. Aileen, Eileen, I'm not real sure how you pronounce it, but yeah. So we have another pocket. Just gonna let that dry. I really like this right here. This is gorgeous. Something I think I'm just gonna cut it in half because it's already pretty thick. I got this from a flea market probably four or five years ago. Oh, look at that. When I cut it, you know, it came open, so it's already a pocket. So I'm just going to trim down some of this from where it was folded over. I'm going to just make it, I'm going to just cut that off. Try to 
clean it up a little bit. I have to use some of these kind of scissors. They do work a little bit better. I'm just gonna put this on the bottom and it's already a pocket so that's perfect for me but I'm just gonna instead of having like three pockets or two pockets it's just gonna be the one pocket because I want to make sure this fabric is gonna stay flat on here because it's thicker so We'll just have that one little pocket where this opened up at. There's that one. And hmm. you see this blue paper. this on here I'm just going to cut it and I'm going to leave some space not too wide I'm going to cut the sides down just a hair I think this will work well before I do that I think I'm going to also little blue backdrop on here. And you just need just a little bit of this blue. Very little blue. This kind of helps to tone down the bright look of this. You have your pocket here. Got your pocket here. Got your pocket here. Pocket in here, pocket back here, and of course the one that's in here, and the one that's in here. 
So I could turn this into a pocket as well. I guess I'll go ahead and do that and just add it to some solid paper. I have to find some that's big enough. I'll just add it to this this one to this. I need something tall enough. Need some art glitter glue on this. Now we have a pocket down in here. And then I just need to find something to put this one. I'm just going to use a piece of fabric. Um, I had purchased this. It was a set of, of like a, it was a grouping of like these little rags. And it was for like $4 that I got from a flea market or a thrift store. So I'm just going to fold these together. Move this out the way. So that it'll be somewhat thick I'm just going to go ahead and glue this on And then I'm just going to add, well, I'm just going to cut it down. And what I could do, like the sewing, is I could hold it down with some safety pins or something, but I'm not even going to do that. I'm just going to cut. Use these scissors. These scissors are so much better. These embroidery scissors, because you get a short, clean cut quickly instead of having to struggle with it with those big scissors. to glue these together.
Okay. Now I'm just going to go back and make it flush. Okay, and then now I'm going to add to some of these bigger ones. I'm going to add some lace to the bottom. And on this one, I thought about adding another little pocket, but I think that'll be too much. Yeah. So I'm going to add some lace to the bottom. And since this is already like a floral theme, we're just going to stick with the roses on there. And I'm just going to take some Fabri-Tac and go across. For a moment. I'm just going to come back through and I'm just going to cut some of this off. So that's kind of cute so far and then we're going to add a little bit to this I'm just going to add a bead on here I don't want the fabric to go all the way through. I mean the glue to go all the way through the fabric. So that's why I'm putting this little black piece of black little board on here. Or not board, but this paint spackle brush or spackle tool to kind of hold it in place so that the glue doesn't seep through right here. So I'm going to let that dry a little bit more. I'm 
that string all over the place from all this stuff. Even though this hangs down, I'm still gonna put this on here. I like that little frayed kind of um, look. That's pretty cute. I like that boho kind of look. Alright, so now we get to decorate some of these um, with some scrap papers. Okay, so let me zoom in just a little bit. So we're getting ready to start decorating these. They should be pretty dry now. So we've got our little pockets and things. Let me make sure they're all opened up. Okay, so I'm working, I'm just probably going to put these in a, a journal. I'm probably going to call it What She Wore. And basically it's kind of like a little fashion type thing. And I've got this vintage Mademoiselle magazine that I've cut some images out of. So I'm probably going to decorate these with some of the images from there. I just fussy cut out like different different images and stuff. So yeah. I'm gonna find some of these to put on here. I'm just it's most of these are like Fifth Avenue or something related to that. So that's what this is gonna be. I really like that how it's got the little this is like legit old tape that's on there but I like that too so I don't know I don't know if I use that on there or not um let's see and I have some die cut shapes I'll definitely probably use this dress form on one of these I think I'll use the dress form on this and then maybe the shoe and some type of a sentiment right here something small I think that's a little too big so I'll find something else I think I'll use her right there. So I'll use a person, a dress form, let's see here, 
a shoe. Get the dress form looks better on this. I like that little shoe right there. And then I'll put something solid maybe right there or some type of sign. So, let's see here. I'm going to have to back these with some black cardstock or something because they're kind of too flimsy. So, yeah, and since this is a pocket, I'm definitely going to have to make this stronger because it's going to sit over top. So, yeah. I'm going to, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to back these by some black cardstock. And let's see, let me first find what I'm going to use. That's too big. I like this. I'll use that. Okay, so I think I've pretty much found almost what I'm going to use. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I got those cut out. And they're more secure now. So we're going to start layering these. And well, let me edit this little dress form. So I'm just going to distress it. And I think I might add a little bit of fabric to it too, just to kind of make it look cute. I thought I was done with all my gluing and stuff, but. Or I could just add some scrapbook paper to it. Let me. Yeah, I'm just going to take this little scrap paper and I'm going to make this look like a sash. Let me stress this edge before I put it on there. to the back. And fold that down and hold it. And I'm just going to glue this one almost out of glue. Or at least in this bottle anyway. I'm going to have to use some different glue. This little bottom part into the blue. Just kind of keep it simple. I'm just going to dry this. Okay, so now it's dry, and then I'm just going to add this little gem and then I'm just going to add this to here using some Fabri-Tac uh, 
just going to put it at this little corner. Put some glue right there so it'll stay. Open. And while that's drying, I'm going to add, let's see, I think I said I was going to add this. Well, yeah, I just, I'm not real sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was going to put her on this one. That's right, yeah. Okay, so I'll put this glue on the bottom part. And I'm also going to put this sign behind there. Okay, so I had ran out of footage, but I'm just going to go ahead and add some decorations and stuff. And I found some fussy cutout things, and so I'm just going to try to. make this look right. I have some die cut and fussy cut out stuff. I think this will look better like this if I add it to it. Yeah, I'm going to put this down through there. So I just, whenever I do projects, I like to have die cut and fussy cut out ephemera, and it makes it so much easier to decorate and stuff. I ran out of glue too, so I had to get me some more art glitter glue. So, oops, now I think I've got too much. <laughs> Oops. Okay. So we're just going to add just a little bit of glue on here. Just a small amount because it doesn't take a lot. And I'm just going to add it down here. I think that black kind of makes it pop a little bit, makes it do better. Then I think I'll just put this on top of here. This is, I love making no sew, <laughs> no sew sewing stuff. It has a sewing theme, even though I'm not sewing a single thing on here. Okay, so I think I'm satisfied with this one. Well, this came loose. Let me let that dry. Set that to the side and let it dry a little bit. Ok, 
Okay, and then for this one, I think I'm just going to add the shoe. Sometimes I just dwell on these things too long and it's a simple fix. And so for this one, I think I'm going to add this on here, the safety pin. And all of these, the shoe, the lady, all of this ephemera, these little fussy cut out things, I backed them by black cardstock. I fussy cut them out and then glued them onto some black cardstock and cut them out again. So. And we have the needle, uh, the spool, the threaded spool, and we have like a little button. This is from the little Tim Holtz die. I think I'll put this here. And then this button over top of it. So, and then, so this one doesn't need anything on the back. This one doesn't need anything on the back. This one doesn't need anything on the back. This one does. So, I think I'll put, I think I'll put this on there. I'm not even going to distress it because I like the brightness of it. It brings out some of those other colors. It kind of helps tone that down a little bit. And then I've got some words and I've got some other ephemera and stuff like that. Uh -oh. That's too busy. Too much. Yeah, we'll just put this on here. Energy. So I think I like this, but I think I need a word or some type of sentiment up here. So I think I'll use the word laugh. Or I may put it down here up against the white backdrop. And I'm just going to take my punch. Uh, here's some scrap white paper. I think I'll put this here. And this white kind of tones this down and tones that down. So you have your solid and solid. And then I think I'll add the word laugh down here. And I think it feels, I feel like it needs something else up here. Maybe a gem. Uh, yeah. So I found two of these. And I'm just going to add one here and one here.
Okay, so this is what we have so far. Okay, so now we just need to fill them up. And like I said, I found some ephemera. And this, this comes from Redeemable, uh, is it Redeemable Junk Journals? Yeah, this is from Redeemable Junk on Etsy. So, and it's this really cute sewing junk journal digital kit that I got. And um, I just kind of edited it and added a couple things and um, turned the, this into like a little um, booklet journaling spot. So I'm just going to add some of these in here. So I definitely need something small to go in here. And I do like this. And I've got this is an actual letter newsletter from 1937 so I've got some really ephemera that I'm just going to add to some of this and this one's got like two pockets so I'll put one here or I can put one back here I think I'll put it in the back yeah this one will go to the back I might find something else shorter to go in here. I don't know. So this is a bit tall. So, and then I think I'll probably put this in here. And I'll probably put this, I'll probably put this back here. Because I like how you can see that from here. Um, let's see. I think I'll put this one in here. And this needs something. Let me find something shorter to go in here and in here. Then I'll put this guest check. Well, I've already got some cards in here. Did I forget? Yeah, I forgot I had this in here. This is pretty short, so I could put it right here. here and this has a tuck spot I'll probably just add some more stuff a little later on but this is basically the gist of what we have basically it so I hope you enjoyed this video and it was fun and entertaining and if you do like it please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel 
and check out my other videos my blog and my social media sites and as always thanks for watching